Hey everybody, this is a video on simultaneous equations. You must have encountered many situations where they give you two equations and they ask you the value of the two variables that are present in those equations. So the only way to do this is to solve these two equations simultaneously. The first step is to name these equations so that it is easy to keep track of what you're doing. So let's name this equation as equation 1 and equation 2. Now the target is to remove one of the variables so that you remain with only single variable in the resultant equation. So if I subtract equation 2 from equation 1, this x gets cancelled out because x minus x is 0. This minus becomes plus and 8 minus 2. So I can subtract equation 2 from equation 1 to cancel out x and get the value of y. So let's do that here. x minus x gets cancelled out. This is 0. 2y plus y gives you 3y is equal to 8 minus 2 is 6. So y is equal to 2. Now you have got the value of y. To find out the value of x, you have to put this value of y in any one of these equations. So you can put value of y in equation 2. So the equation 2 is x minus y is equal to 2. The value of y is 2. So x minus 2 is equal to 2. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 4. So you have the value of x and the value of y. Now to verify that you have got the correct values of x and y, you have to put these values in any one of these equations and if the left hand side comes out as equal to the right hand side then you have correctly found out the values of x and y. So if you put the value of y as 2 and the value of x as 4 in equation number 2, so 4 minus 2 gets 2. So it found out the correct values of x and y. Let us take another example now. These are the two equations, but you will find out that it is difficult to remove one of the variables. So how do you remove one of the variables x and y? Either by subtracting or adding equations 1 and 2. Let's name these equations first. So this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. If you, if you have to remove x, you have to multiply this equation 2 by 3 so this becomes 3x and then you can subtract equation 2 from 1. Or if you have to remove y from these two equations, you can multiply equation 2 by 2 and subtract equation 2 from 1. So let's say I have to remove the variable x. So what I can do is to multiply equation 2 by 3. So I'll multiply equation 2 by 3. So if I multiply this equation 2 by 3, I get 3x plus 3y is equal to 3 times 3 is 9. So this becomes 9. Now we have the equation 2 ready. We have to subtract equation 2 from equation 1 so that we cancel out x. So 3x minus 3x. This is 2y minus 3y. 7 minus 9. So 3x minus 3x gets cancelled out. 2y minus 3y gives you minus y and 7 minus 9 gives you minus 2. So minus minus gets cancelled out so y is equal to 2. So you have the value of y. Now you can put the value of y in any one of these equations to get the value of x. So the original equation number 2 was x plus y is equal to 3. This was the original equation number 2. Now you can put the value of y in this equation. So x plus y is 2, so 2 is equal to 3. And x is equal to 3 minus 2 is 1. So you have the value of x as 1 and the value of y as 2. So this is the main concept behind solving simultaneous equations. Firstly, you should name the equations or number these equations. Secondly, you have to perform some operations on maybe each of these equations in order to remove one of the variables so that you remain with only one variable in the resultant equation. Now once you get the value of the one of the variables 
you can get the value of other variables by putting those values into other equations. So that's how you solve simultaneous equations.